All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you your horoscope, a little honest astrology for Wednesday, the 12th of February, 2020. We've got the moon moving to the middle degrees of Libra, squaring the nodes, right, earlier on in the day. We've got uh, early in the morning as well, we've got this opposition to... Venus to Chiron. We talked about that in Tuesday's astrology. Uh, so that, that, that energy is still picking up. It's still carrying through with us in the morning here on Wednesday. Okay. You know, the moon in, in Libra is all about balance, balancing the scales. Okay. And it often has to do with the other person, the other people in our lives, balancing the relationships between ourself and someone else. And as well, it's like, it's really cool to look at you know, Egyptian mythology or, or, you know, you know, the Egyptians, the balancing scales here was your heart to a feather, right? Your heart to a feather. And this is when you die karmically, what weighs more? Does your heart weigh lighter than the feather? If so, then you, you know, transcend and ascend, your spirit ascends to this higher place. If your heart is heavier than the feather, you know, karmically, if we have quantum entanglements, you know, we've done um, bad deeds, right? Because the moon in Virgo is saying yes or no, yes to this, no to this. Again, unowned, free to make decisions for oneself. Okay, so we're, so, you know, it, who, who is it? It's, uh, it's Persephone. Okay, so Virgo, the virgin, is Persephone, unowned, and Persephone is holding the balancing scales in Libra. So she's making decisions, saying yes to this, no to this, yes to this, no to this. And this is what weighs out the scales, okay, based on our own actions and our actions with other people. So, you know, we can look a lot into our relationships with other people, yes, and Ultimately, we can look at a relationship with ourselves because, you know, again, other people are other people, but it's how we choose to respond, how we choose to react, how we choose to be unconditional, how we choose to be forgiving, how we choose to hold a grudge, how we choose to respond uh, with anger, how we choose to respond with love, with peace. It's up to us, ultimately, how we choose to respond to these other people. It's up to us to look into the mirror and be happy with our decisions. It's up to us to the end of the day. You know, does our heart weigh lighter than a feather? Are we karmically releasing? Are we karmically, are we burning bridges that are unequal? Are we evening the bridges out? You know, so this deals a lot with not only the other person, but of self, you know, as the moon is in Libra. Because it's square the nodes, right? Earlier in the day, it's squaring the nodes. Over here, it's saying, be compassionate, be loving, be caring. Do what you do out of love because you love it, not because of what reward you want to receive out of doing this. I want recognition or, or, or you know, whatever else. It's like, yeah, we're doing it for the wrong reasons. We've got to be doing it because we care about it, we, because we love doing it. We love doing it so much that we'll do it time and time again unconditionally. Uh, and on the other hand, it's, you know, a release, squaring the, the, the south node over there in Capricorn. A release of... of you know, big business concepts, release of uh, being cold, release of stubbornness, release of holding on to something, you know, or release of pressure, right, up in Capricorn. And then we're going to have, you know, look, we're going to have uh, the moon start to square Nep uh, uh, Neptune, uh, start to square uh, Jupiter, expansion, all right? Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a head cold here. Nose is kind of stuffy. Anyway, I'm sure you can hear it. So, you know, here's our moon moving into the middle degrees of Libra. So earlier in the day, yeah. It's early in the morning, square in the nodes. But nonetheless, it's there, right? And then as the day progresses, you know, we get this little itch you can't scratch here connecting to Mercury. Now, Mercury's only got what, two more degrees to go before it starts to retrograde. 16th, 17th, something like that, right? Talked about it in the monthly horoscopes. So moving through that shadow period, we're going to revisit all this area two more times. Okay, only two degrees left before Mercury comes to a stop. And uh, it's like a checkpoint. This is a little checkpoint Charlie, 
you know, how are we, how are our thoughts equal? How are our thoughts balancing out here? The unknown to the known, perhaps, okay? The unknown to the known, uh, the old tried and true, okay? This septile that's happening, really cool, really powerful. So that's something else, you know, we could talk about. You know, we have, we have ideas that, uh, that this is how it's going to work out. We have ideas, well, this happened and this happened. So does that mean this? You know, well, let's go, let's go like this. Let's simplify it. Worrying. Worrying. Okay, worrying is a false sense of uh, a, a, a preconceived notion of something that could potentially happen always in the perspective of negativity. Well, I haven't, they haven't called back. What could happen? I'm worried. They could have gotten into a car crash. They could have been eaten alive by polar bears. They could have, you know, been abducted by space aliens. Or they went home and went right to bed and didn't bother to text you. You know, or, or whatever it may be. Or I'm worried. I, I you know, this is lo- whatever it is. We understand what worry means. But it's always a, a, a preconceived notion of something negative. Are you ever worried about something positive? I'm really worried that I'm, you know, I'm going to get that raise. <laughs> I'm really worried that I'm going to be recognized for the positivity that I put out in the world. Like, no, that's not, that, you're not worried about that. It's always worrying about something negative. So as we have Mercury about to begin its retrograde, first time of the year, the sign of Pisces, foggy, hazy, unclear communication, uncertainty around the bend. We got Mars the last few days here in, uh, in the sign of Gemini. We don't know what's around the corner, but we have to be open arms to receive it, right? So, you know, specifically with this quinkunx to the moon and Mercury, you know, it's like our, our, our own thoughts, are we balancing our own thoughts of positivity and negativity? Are we balancing our own internal dialogue with ourselves to staying positive? You know, it's, it's scientifically proven that a, a positive thought has more weight and, and uh, energy, you know, healing energy than a negative thought. But we also know that negative thoughts do have a, a, a physical manifestation on our physical bodies, right? If we sit here and think negatively, we become ill. Uh, you know, so our thoughts are extremely powerful. Our words are extremely powerful. The words that we think up here that never escape tongue and cheek and then the words that we emit into this world. And again, with this retrograde about to start moving through the shadow period and th- this hazy communication, this hazy fog, are we focused on the negative? Are we focusing on the potential outcome of the not prosperous side of things? And this energy is reminding us, hey, like, we have to balance this stuff out and ultimately lean toward the heart weighing lighter than the feather, you know, which seems improbable, seems unrealistic. But it's the truth, right? It feels so light. I could fly. <laughs> All right, what else is going on? I mean, I think it's pretty good. We, we kind of nailed it, you know? And then, again, moving forward here, we got uh, the moon starting to square Jupiter. You know, am I going to receive this abundance? You know, if, if I'm always worried about the other person. Again, there comes the word worry again. You know, and then we got Mars over here starting to quintile the moon. You know, positive creativity. So by us taking the chances, by us getting out there and doing, seeking this further knowledge, you know, we can allow, you know, this is just saying, hey, there's tension here. This needs to be recognized. Things must be balanced in our lives, in our minds, in our hearts in order for us to receive this abundance. Yeah. All right. It's a good day. Every day is a good day in astrology land. Every day there's something forward to look, you know, to look forward to. So have a great day balancing out those scales. <laughs> Heart weighs lighter than a feather. Our minds staying positive, free of worry. Stay focused on the uh, the good things, my friends. And good things will come to you. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>